to number 52 episode of only fans with me karen elizabeth fan this top is from flirt em all it's a very expensive and all of those <coughs> a cups are flirting into b cups <laughs> that was pretty good oh uh, no it wasn't no it wasn't yeah don't yeah. laugh at yourself that's that why they hate you because you say unfunny things <laughs> and you de- laugh directly into the microphone Flirt them all. Um, it's very expensive. Fleur, which is the French word for flower. Du mont, which I don't know. It's like flower of the, pff, I don't know. What's mont mean? Look it up. M-A-L. It's not fleur de mer, which is flower of the sea, or like fleur de, fleur de col, which would be flower of the school. <laughs> That's not really a phrase. What is it? Flower. Flower of, M-A-L in French. So I just want to know what it, it is. It could it's not m- world because world is monde, fleur de monde. Pat, it came up the flowers of evil. Fuck yes, yeah. Sounds like you're that's what you call your pussy, and you're also evil. Wow, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that makes sense because it's a it's a lingerie company, but it's like they make underwear, but they also make outerwear stuff, and it's one of my favorite brands. I think Joe Harari is going to get me a gift certificate. Well, thanks for having me back on, Karen. It's good to be here. Uh, Jared Schwartz is also here uh, still. Uh, I don't know how the comments are raging against me. Uh, but I, yet again, oh, what's that word? Yet again, what? Prosper? Not prosper. That's not the word. You prosper? Thinking. No. No. You uh, persist? Yeah, persist. That's the word. That's the word that I was looking for. I know. Uh, this is the Halloween episode. Halloween weekend <laughs> and is going to release on Halloween weekend. And Karen put on her Wicked Witch mask. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. I'm really glad to. He uh, wrote. He wrote some of these. <laughs> Me and Pat did get lunch <laughs> together. <laughs> That's so sad. That makes it so much worse that it was premeditated <laughs> mediocrity. Premeditated me- mediocrity. That's what you are. Karen, I'm giving it all I can here. I know. I know. And that's the sad part. I know. Uh, and for my costume, I'm putting on a funny comedian. Yep. Or what I think is a funny comedian. You know, it's just like, you can't just like come in here and like say, hey, Karen, you have an ugly face. Like that just doesn't work for me, for this podcast, for my audience. I mean, really let him have it in the comments this week just for that fucking attempt at a dig. I know that I told you to start talking shit to me. I don't think I like it. I think I'm taking it back. What are you going to do? Fire me? I can't invent a personality for you. I, I can't, you know... I'm trying to bully the funny out of you. That ain't going to work, clearly. We're trying other methods. No, it's all right. You can keep calling me ugly, Jared. I'm, so, I'm such a fucking gross I just pig. called your, your boobs small. And I know. And they look getting bigger <laughs> in that great new shirt you got there. My boobs are literally perfect. Mm. Ernest agrees, came and brought his chewy just to congratulate me on my perfect tits. <laughs> I would rather have small, perky, 32A, Bs, perfectly symmetrical, nipples to die for, fucking pencil erasers, than some saggy, sloppy, big, long, dark-ass areola fucking tits, okay? And I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm just saying I love mine. I literally love them. I stare at myself naked all the time. We're recording in a luxury building Practically because of my small, oh, my small, perfect fucking tits. You fucking goofball. Cut that. Clip it. Send it to me so I can come to it at night. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to have someone else, like a male, record it. (laughs) You have perfect tits. Everybody love you. Manuel Ferreira. No, no, your your voice suits it well. (laughs) Yeah, I am an alto. What's that? You know, like a soprano, a baritone, yeah. an alto. It's like gotcha. a lower singer for women. Yeah. yeah it's, I see. I see the the what's it called coming in. My Adam's apple. Yeah. Is it really highlights it with this top? <laughs> I think some women have small Adam's apples, and they mm-hmm. have, and it's like they do have like masculine energy. I certainly have a masculine energy. 
Did I tell you the gentleman who sent me the edible arrangements came to my comedy show last night? Oh, you did not. Well, Let's you know. Let's hear all about this. Final performance, final podcast, final, <laughs> final times for me. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Um, actually, he's super nice, super cool. Not a stalker. No. He still came to your show without letting you know? You know, he did. He came up and he introduced himself to me. You know, I have a bit about the edible arrangement right now. So he was like, oh, man, I made your act. You know, he was really cute and sweet and nice. I'm not attracted to him, and it's, I certainly don't. It won't go anywhere romantically, and I hope he understands that loud and clear. But um just like a nice guy and like made me feel supported and happy it's it's great to have you know a fan so enamored that's awesome i have nothing to add that that is the perfect scenario karen i'm really glad everything worked out for you yep and his name's nick gomez if he kills me okay uh listen we've Uh, got a lot going on tonight i'm hosting the eight and the ten at stand up nope at at the stand at the stand not stand up new york love you john john gave me a call yesterday he called you? Yep. For butt sex? Yep. He said, uh, congrats, buddy. You worked your way up to my penis. <laughs> 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 he didn't say that. He said, congrats. You got paid spots. Nice. That's great. Yep. Look at you. I'm on the Saturday show tomorrow. Congrats. That would be awesome. Right before Mama's Boy Comedy. But by the time this come out, it would have been a great show. Love everything that's going on. Uh Nothing interesting happened this week besides me getting hit by an MTA bus and taking out my front bumper. <laughs> Things are just really looking up for me. Pat you know? walks in. I'm really glad I brought it to the He's like, podcast. me and Jared did errands today. We went to rent a car. And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, something, his front bumper, MTA bus. I was like, did he hit a bus? A bus hit me. Were you parked? No, I was merging. You were merging? Yeah. So the bus is in front of you or behind you? In front, my front bumper. Right. So you hit the bus. No. Yeah. No. If the bus is in front of you, Jared, I and you're merging. Mer- I didn't say the bus was in front of me. Yes, Did I just say that? My bad. I said I was merging into the lane. So you're parallel with the bus, let's say. I'm in front of the bus, like this. So how'd you hurt your front bumper? Because my bumper's in front. He sides my He's bumper. He's lying. He's just lying, right? It makes no sense. So here's me. Yeah, do that. Do it on. Do a little uh, diorama, because I'm picturing two cars oh, yeah, merging. Yeah, you be the bus. No, no, this is the bus. This is me. I'm you. Are right, you be you? We're gonna screen record on the iPad. And I'm the bus. Bang. Yeah, but you. Yeah, but you have to be going forward yes, for that to happen. Here I am. In the. So it's partially your fault. It's not the bus didn't come out of nowhere. You yeah. merged into the bus. If the bus was already on the highway, going whatever speed it's going, we and you're merging, we you at are at fault. We were at a red light. How are you merging if you're at a red light? I was getting into the left. There was space open. I was getting in there. Bang. No. Green light. No. No. <laughs> I tried that, like, in court to, like, get a ticket taken away, and it didn't work. And my dad even came with me. But I was like... Yeah, I'll probably uh, not be driving you anymore, so uh, <laughs> my career is over. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, get funnier, but clearly by this podcast, we see where that's going to lead me to. So who's going to drive me to the stand tonight? Uh, I don't want to go into Just this kidding. Thing. I'll just take another lift and get another health code violation. I think you can get up to six or 7,000 because Wait, what? I get one every single time I ride. I thought a health code violation was whenever you sleep with a partner. Mm. No, it's because I don't wear my masks in the lift. Really? You also don't wear masks. Nah, had nothing. I was going to say your partners don't wear masks. It's just such a screeching halt yep. you bring yep. things I know. to. It's, Every um, time. It's like I get whiplash. A lady guashed my face and my neck today, and she was right here. And she was like, what is this? What is stressing you out? And I was like, that's Jared. <laughs> and she's like, who's Jared? I'm like, he's ruining my life. He's... <laughs> The skinny Jew with the lisp, and he is slowly but surely. You said skinny. You are skinny. Thank you. Yeah, I was getting a massage today. I don't think skinny is a compliment friend. for men. I, I don't think men want to be skinny. I know. Unless you're like Travis Barker. I don't know. Hey, he's doing pretty well. He's for got himself. like good arms though, because he's like a drummer, right? They're so fucking hot. I love their relationship so much. I want a Travis Barker. This drummer like liked one of my pictures. I'm like, I'm in. Where are we going? He's not even cute. I know something. I love you him. want him to drum. 
I wish someone would show up out of nowhere and drum with hammers onto your skull. <laughs> well, that's crazy because that's what you look like already. You're uglier than me. Like, you're, like, clinically, I know. <laughs> medically, professionally. Like, it's not, like, subjective in any way. You're much younger than me. But technically speaking, way uglier than me. So these digs just, they're not going to really hit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The slut ones are okay. Like, those ones are okay. Like, yeah, you those know, those are too easy. Those are know? like, everybody, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm still dealing with my unrequited love. Well, it got requited once, but then. Spell that, Pat. Unrequited. Yeah. Maybe you just say requited. I would say yes. What does it mean? Um, unrequited love means uh, it's you're not getting, you're not receiving it back. You're not. There's no reciprocity. Make appropriate return for a favor. Oh yes, you sexy bitch. Mm. That's actually a word I was I looking for you. today. Yeah, but I would requite this guy's love anywhere in a fucking like hallway, back of a truck. I don't give a shit. But write, anyway. I'm going to write that down. Stupid. It's such a fucking easy word. Everybody knows unrequited love. It's in fucking Shakespeare. Where do you live? Like, why don't you know anything? I live on an island. <laughs> yeah, you're one of the island boys. That's what you should be for Halloween. Yeah, what is that? You and Pat should be the island boys. I don't know. Boys? These are your people. This is your generation. Oh, right. oh, those fucking two boys with the, with the island hair. Island boys. Someone on an island boy. Someone on an island boy. I'm on an island. That's you, Jared. That's hilarious. Staten Island boy. Someone on an island. They were on that already? Of course. They're killing it. BFF Pod has their pulse, their finger on the pulse of the youth of this country. Shout out, shout out, Brianna, yeah. shout out Brianna Chicken Fry. That's my girl. Yeah? Yeah. Does she know who you are? She does. Clip this. She's been, she's been the mama's boy. Yeah? Yep. She's a fan. Has she come back? Yep. All right. We're connected. She's killing it. I'm, I'm sure she talks about you the same way. Nope. She might say I'm funny, though. Yeah, she drinks a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> My babies, I love you gets, so much. Shout out to patient. Alec Baldwin for murder. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> It's not funny, um, but only because there are so few female DPs in the entertainment industry. And the fact that he took out one of them, it's like that whole pie chart is now smaller. What? I'm just like appalled by the situation. Appalled? No, that's not the right word. It, it fits, but it's not perfect. It's not appropriate. But are, you're appalled. Like you're appalled sounds like you're judgmental. Like how dare they go on shooting accidental guns at people? Like I'm appalled. I'm appalled. How could they do that? It's not. Yeah, it's not the word. It's no. more like you're shocked or. Yeah, shocked was the more word I was looking for. How beautiful my neighborhood is. Um. So yeah, he tweeted that apology. May I read it? Should I read it, Pat? I just want to know if he's been... If there are no words to convey my shock and sadness. Don't read it. Like, read it in earnest or don't read it. There are, no way, there, there are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred, and I am in touch with her husband, offering my support to him and his family. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Helena. Yeah, I wish. That's sad stuff. <coughs> if only Alec had a. What do you think he's going to get? Nothing. It's not his fault. It was a prop gun. It shouldn't have killed someone. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I love the backlash you know he's facing for 2017 tweet. The union prop worker wasn't working on this film day? Why? Were they striking? I mean, that's the other thing with all these film sets. Everybody's striking. The hours are crazy. I mean, my question is, like, she's filming, right? She's behind a camera. So what is Alec doing shooting at her anyway? She's not an actor in the scene. She's not an extra. I think it's 
think maybe she was showing you how to use it or something. Like, he was off. holding it, though. She oh, died. That makes no sense. No, that he set it off. Might have hit her. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, here's how you kill me. That's what your theory is? I don't think so. I think he was drinking. <laughs> where did it happen? On the film set. Where, where? I know. That doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't. You're just trying to like prolong things yeah, because you have no I opinion. No, I, I know. Opinion. It's it's so brutal how you can't just like try to come up no with drug. something. No drugs yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Sad. I mean, we all know that Alex's been shooting accidental loads for a while though. He has a hundred children. So there you go. That's if only he had shot that obnoxious fucking fake Brazilian wife of his. <laughs> what is she? She's from Massachusetts. She's full of shit. Moving on. Um, Ilaria. He's probably going to see this. You're never working with Alec. You're fucked. You're fucked. What? Probably never working with a lot of people. You're going to be working, just not in entertainment. Um, <laughs> November 9th, you guys get tickets to my show in the New York Comedy Festival, Karen Sucks. Uh, we're, we're almost gonna be gone. Screening Hurry up two episodes. Um, don't ever try to fucking imply <laughs> that I'm not selling tickets. You fucking grub artist. What? You're a grubber, a taker. I was literally. You're an energy out, suck. That's a good marketing technique that I was implying. Like, hey, go get tickets. They're running out. But, yeah. Take it that way. I'm upset. I'm getting you my period fucking tomorrow. <laughs> what? 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 Go ahead. What noun were you going to throw? Nothing. Let me know. <laughs> what <laughs> fucking <laughs> evil noun? You I fucking got a, what? I got Bitch? a noun to throw. Slut? Whore? Hag? What were you going to say? Hey, keep going. <laughs> I'm going to name them all. <laughs> Pat, I don't like when you have fun. <laughs> I don't like when Pat has well, fun. This is the most fun I've had in weeks, Karen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Are you high? No, I, I'm done smoking. I got high yesterday after my accident. You want to vape? Nah. Get it? Done smoking? Oh, you want to vape? <laughs> you don't have your own joke? You rub off on me. I'm a fucking idiot now, too. <laughs> I'm an unfunny no, dope, uh, too. You've been an idiot 52 episodes ago. I had... Um, One whole year, Karen. I got hammered in the comments uh, on Real Ass Podcast. Not for my comedy. Comedy, Karen killed. You killed. also got hammered in the face. Get it? That was a good callback because we said hammering in the face earlier. Uh, you remember that? Should I show my Hustler article now? What do you mean? Oh, it's that uh, I had framed. Are you going to go pick it up and leave me alone here to talk? No, because my skirt's so far up my ass. My ass is like literally out, so I can't get up. There's been. You don't have to get it, Pat. It's stupid. <sighs> or do it just for the cardio. <laughs> Today, I, my fucking lift was supposed to bring me to the Equinox on Bond Street, and they brought me to the Soho one, so there was no class today, so I had to work out on my own. Hey, you gotta show it. <coughs> Looks great. He's, you're the cameraman. Like, All right, Karen. how great my fucking ass looks in that picture. Pat's gonna have to blur this out. So this, was, this is probably a good podcast now that I'm gone. Oh my god, wouldn't this be better if it was just me interviewing naked pictures of me? <laughs> hey, Karen's perfect nipple, what do you think about this? Alright. You want to do the voice? That would have been funny. God, I had to tell him everything! Hey. I don't have my mic. I'll help you. Hey, Karen's nipple, what do you think about this Alec Baldwin scandal? I got nothing. <laughs> I think it sucks! <laughs> Well, if you have me, <laughs> it's cold in here, and I think it sucks. <laughs> um, I really guess we just need me. Let's be honest. We just need me in earnest. They're, they've, they've, Ooh, yeah, you're so they're all sexy. saying that. Oh, you're so sexy. They're wondering why I'm still here. No, you're doing great. You're having fun. You're getting pussy. Gross. Um, I did Khalil Walker show last night. Great place. Sushi. Very good sushi. Are you right there? Crispy, um, like rice with the tuna tartare, or whatever on top. Mm, mm, nice. mm. And then where did I go? Brooklyn Comedy Club. Saw my buddies Micah Fox, Tim McLaughlin, killing it. Very funny. 
Gordon Baker Bone, always happy to see him. He has a funny joke about NWA, but it's N words with asthma. <laughs> uh-huh. That's funny. <laughs> I know, and because I have asthma too, so that's one thing that we Relatable. connect on. I did a great show yesterday where the comic who followed me, I was in Brooklyn, uh, and the comic who followed me uh, went up and uh, berated the crowd for laughing at my jokes and said how that's a red flag. And Is this said a male or how female? A female. We, who woman, is she? Oh my God, I knew it was color. a female. I knew it was a female. Who uh, was it? She it was Chanel Ali. <laughs> she hates you. I'm just kidding. Chanel's a friend of the podcast. Uh, who was she it? She went on to say I'm anti-vax and that I'm big Joe Rogan energy. What? That's kind of funny because it's not true. Like you, you would, yeah. Joe Rogan would sneeze and you would fall over. Yeah. <laughs> and it don't, uh, comics in the back are like, is everything all right? Like, did you do something? And I was like, I don't know, but hey. She's killing. Good for her. <laughs> was it resonating with the crowd? A little bit. Because I guess like it was like sort of a dig, but not a dig at the same time. She I was just know. roasting a little? Yeah, but also it seemed a little uh, personal. Are you, do you have a relationship with this comic? Mm, some talk shit if you're going to talk shit. First, no, I was last just, I was name. Just, I, was just, I was just curious. It was just interesting to hear. I probably don't know. Do I know who they are? Maybe. It's not really nice comic. It's not really. What a really nice comment. The one on the, uh, last yeah, but there is some that call me old face that well, really fucking hurt I mean, my feelings. Lying. I'd rather have old face than big nose, ugly Jew face. You fucking hey, punk. Well, whatever's going to help you me be successful in this industry. stupid fucking punk. Did we talk about the Brittany Murphy doc? No, who's that? Who's that? Who's Brittany Murphy? Clueless? Clueless? Yeah, that's me. Um, Clueless, she was also, she had, um, a really great part in Girl Interrupted, and I know that because I used to compete, oh. it was written by Susanna Kaysen, and I used to compete with, like, excerpts from it in my speech and debate when I was, like, real, real nerdy, real into nerd shit. Anyway, yeah, she t- marries this oh, guy, Simon, it. who's this big fat slob who's addicted to drugs, who has no talent, who just uses her. She'd been broken by, like, multiple uh. relationships in Hollywood. What do you mean, who? Who we're I talking said, uh. oh. um, Ashton Kutcher was a dick to her. Uh, a couple other people. She clearly had an eating disorder. Um, she had anorexia, <laughs> and then, like, the pill addiction started, and she was getting fired from movies and stuff. And this big fat slob was just living off her, living off her estate. And then it seemed really like weird, like he was hooking up with her mother. Like how gorgeous she is. And getting with it. see, there's a chance for me. He's so gross, right, Pat? Look at he has like he has no, no hair. hair. He's fucking. He's it's literal Beauty and the Beast. Um, so really sad, Doc. More like Shrek and Fiona. Yeah. That was a reference for my generation. I've seen Shrek. I mean, yeah, you're going to pull up a Disney movie. It, it might be your generation, but it shouldn't be like an identifying movie. Like Shrek. Okay. Just another dig at, at you being old. What? 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 You know what, Karen? I'm, scoreboard's like pretty even today. On what fucking planet? <laughs> the one living in my head. <laughs> you have a planet living in your head? Like, do you hear the words you say? They make no sense. I know. They never do. It's bad. It is. Um, we're going to be at Skank Fest. Really excited about that. I'm staying at a fancy hotel. I think I'm going to take a lover while I'm there. Uh, we'll record an episode of our podcast while we're there. I got a busy day. Who, you and day. the lover? No. I mean, he might be there. Um, I'm really busy Saturday. I'm on, like, four four shows. It's great. I have zero. You'll get up somehow. I'm excited. It's going to be fun just to be there, you know? It's going to be a great time. There's going to be uh, loads of new friends I'm going to make. They have, like, they're going to have, like, food trucks there. And I heard they were going to have IV drips there, too, for, like, people. I mean, I'm going to get one. Fucked. I wouldn't get one there. Like, I'm going to get fucked up. But <laughs> that is cool. Like, for I people no that drink, if you want to, like, you know, continue to party the next day, like, that would have been a godsend. What day are you going? Thursday. I'm on the kickoff show on Thursday, and then I'm on a show on Shit, Friday, and then I'm, I'm on, on Friday. Like four shows on. Oops. This is it. I mean, I think the kickoff's going to probably, not low-key, but I think Saturday's going to be the big, big day. The big day? Yeah. 
I'm judging the naked roast battle. Uh, you getting Dream paid? Dream come true. You getting paid well enough for that? Yep. That's good. You got your check? That's all that matters, Karen. The check at the end of the day. Um, I'm actually just really excited to judge strangers' bodies. <laughs> I don't care <laughs> about the money. <laughs> Very excited to see what Texas has to offer me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably big things. Uh, everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah, good point. Yeah, big clits. Hope I get well, to see some big uh, flapping clits. And well, some we like know there won't be big tits on the judging table. That's right. I mean, big tits are fine, but I truly feel blessed to not have to deal with them. Yeah, I get that. It's a blessing and a curse. I'm so much faster and speedier than girls with big tits. They have to, like, stop and smile at every man who, like, looks at their boobs. Hmm. Not me. Later, bitch. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm like, oh, she has a fat ass. Too late. I'm out of there. <laughs> Didn't catch her on the way out. My heart belongs to one person. And then I have a lover on the side. Good for you. I've just been hooking up with uh, any girl on the side. I know. You're taking whatever you can get. You're like, no, fucking. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> yesterday I did. Uh, yesterday I. I <coughs> Some shitty and like I was just I was just trying to have like company, but she was trying to hook up and I was like, why'd I go back? She told me not to come back if like I'm gonna just do that and I still went back and then I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know why I came here. And I just left. It was weird. That's definitely gonna be the highlight clip of the podcast. I mean, you mumbling about this vague thing that I mean, I'm supposed to like decipher who you're talking about. It was just a girl who came it's to the show. It's a random girl, but like she said, like if. Only calm if you're going to fuck, if we're going to hook up. That's yeah, basically. And you yeah. wanted to I don't know. do this there? Was, you know what it was? I wanted I wanted to, I wanted pleasure for me, but I didn't want to give pleasure. And she was like, yeah, I'm not into that. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, so you're just a scumbag. You're just yeah. like, yeah, you can suck my dick, but uh, I'm not touching you. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how it went. Gross. Yeah. That's just I so interesting. In like, look. if I'm not attracted to a man, I don't want his mouth anywhere near my vagina. Yeah. And men are so fucking different. They, it, it can be a chick that you don't want to touch or kiss or fucking finger. And like, she can suck my dick, though. You might as well have your mother suck your dick. That's how little it matters. Yeah, I felt pretty, I felt pretty scumbagish. It's I, gross. I left. Yeah, I felt gross and bad. I can't, like, if a guy... I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever let a guy that I wasn't attracted to go down on me. I, I don't even like a guy I'm not attracted to kiss me. Yeah. No, it's awful. I, I, I'm trying to think back. There was this one club promoter when I was in a full-on, slightly brownout that I went home with. This one I was in college, and me and Jane the Brain lived in the same bedroom. And she already had a dude, and I was like, well, I got to get one. I woke up, he had on a matching trucker hat and blue vest. And I, it was just the worst experience of my life. This other girl I hooked up with, we're hooking up. This girl, we're, I was attracted, she invited me in. Uh, we get inside, we're getting hot and heavy. Mid hot and heavy, she goes, I got to tell you something. That's not what I want to hear in the middle what? of this. What? She, what goes, she goes, feel special though that I'm telling you. Why? Why? What? And I sort of had this ideas because when I was when I was fingering her, it was tough to get a couple fingers in. She was a virgin. Oh. Yeah. That's hot. That's hot. That's my mommy. Want me to answer? Yeah. <coughs> hey, mommy, what's up? Yeah, I did take the easy pass. Put her on speaker. Great. All put, right. Put her on speaker. Uh, mommy, you're on. You're on She's mommy. not on speaker, though. Hey, you're on speaker. I'm on the podcast. You want to say hello to Karen? Hi, Karen. Hey, how's it going? Oh, she's so Good. nice. Nice to talk to you. <laughs> nice to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I made calls um, for school this week, and, and somebody, uh, I, they said they were the wrong number, right? And they told me they like talking to me, so they like my voice. <laughs> so you can call them back anytime. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Mommy, I hope you don't follow up with that person. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> All right. Love you, Mommy. I'll, t I'll talk she's to you later. so cute. Have a good night. Oh, she's the best. Where'd that story come from? So sweet. Her stories are just like mine. 
It made no, no but sense. she was. It made no sense. It made I love sense. It. <laughs> She's like this. Oh, her voice is so sweet. Hi, nice to talk to you. No, uh, she is the sweetest. And uh, I uh, just make her happy. That's, she just that's wants my problem. You know, me and this girl were talking about it yesterday. That I was with that like I didn't hook up with. And we can were just you talking. sit up and enunciate? This girl that I was with last night that we were talking. She was like, she, like she was telling me about her despairs and. Uh, <laughs> you and your twenty-four-year-old emo despairs. She was twenty-seven. Whatever. Yeah, with older chicks, right? Yeah. I love surrounding myself with older chicks. <laughs> uh, but no, she uh, she was telling me about how she like one of her problems was that she was too much of a people pleaser. She was like in this program, and she was like, "Yeah, you get, like the program was telling her stop being a people pleaser." What program? Uh, some weed program. I was like, "You're a pussy." She's try- like, she's addicted to weed. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, weed was like it was pushing down her emotions. She was disassociating mm-hmm. and people. No, she's I not mean, pussy. women she, she's often people please. It's m- we're much more likely uh, to do it than I men. I know some who don't. Well, good. Then you know some strong women who have boundaries and don't have to constantly put other people before themselves. It's like you're only a good enough teammate partner if you're treating yourself right too. <coughs> That's a great way to end the podcast. <coughs> Thanks for listening. Um, do we want to record some extra for the Patreon? How to do it? Did we put that other app on? We didn't. We got to promote it. <laughs> God, Pat has a fucking plan. We should probably talk about that. Well, nobody cares about what we're saying right now. I feel like there's other things I wanted to touch upon. Like what, Karen? Your Bitcoin's love life? crushing. No, yeah, not Bitcoin my love is life. crushing. I wish I bought more when it was down. My tooth is aching hard. Right really? Now. Yeah. You have to go to the dentist. No, I have bad teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be alright. All right. <laughs> all right. We're gonna record uh, Jared at the dentist. <laughs> Hopefully, getting his teeth pulled. Um, hey, follow us and subscribe and subscribe on YouTube because it would really help us out. Oh, this for the regular app? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how we're closing? I love it. I think this was fun. Thank yep, you for having I me think on. you bombed again. <laughs> Thanks, guy. This one. Um, this one is she is.